I'm going to show you how to make a basic Procreate animation that you can use for social media, email, and other marketing. I also want to show you how to add other objects to the frame like text and graphics as well. I'm actually just going to come here and make a new canvas. I'm going to use the screen size which is 2732 by 2048. I'm just going to fill this with color. I'm going to be using this color right here. Hex code is A3DFFE. And I'm just going to drag that onto the screen. You can use any color that you want. So I'm going to come here to the layers and I'm just going to duplicate this three times. Now I'm making this extra simple because I just want to give you an idea of how this works. You could actually come in here with five or ten layers and make it really smooth and nice. For now, turn these two layers off and I'm going to work with layer number one. I'm going to come in here to the adjustments and I'm going to choose noise, then choose layer. And you'll see up at top it says noise slide to adjust. We're going to slide that over to uh, about 50%. We're going to go up in little increments. So I want to be, you know, pretty precise when I'm doing each one of these layers. So here at the bottom, I'm going to choose ridges and I'm taking turbulence all the way up to max. And I'm going to click on that little flash icon right there and choose multi-channel. That's just going to give me colorful noise. And then I'm going to come here to the octaves and I'm going to take that up to about 40%. And then I'll take my scale all the way up. Uh, I'm going to start with 92. So like I said, I'm just taking this up for the color. If you start you know, working with the noise. If I come in here and you'll see how the color starts to change in order to get like a nice color transition. And then I'm going to be taking the scale up here as well, just in small, small increments in order to get like a little bit of movement. So you can kind of see that there tapping there to get out of the adjustments. I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to go to the next layer and turn that on. I'm just going to keep coming back in here. I'm going to go to noise, layer. Just keep coming back in here and doing the same thing. Ridges, we'll take the turbulence to max, make sure that multi-channel uh, multi is turned on. We'll take the octaves to 40%. And then for this one, I'm going to take my scale to like 90, 96%. And you're not seeing anything because I haven't put any noise on here, but I'm just going to drag across the screen to add noise. And I'm going to take this up 15%. So the first one was 50%. We'll take this one up 65%. I'm just going to click on that adjustment icon up there to get out of there. And I'm going to come back in here to the layers, turn on my very last layer, make sure that that's selected. Then I'm going to come back over here into adjustments, go to the noise, click on layer. And again, I'm just going to do the same thing. Ridges, turbulence to max, make sure that multi is turned on. The octaves will take up to 40. And these are all things that you can work with, you know, like the settings here. Maybe you want to use billows instead of ridges. And I'm going to take this one up. This time, instead of 65, we're going to take it up 15% more, up to 80 percent. So I'm just going increments of 15 percent for this. And I'm going to take my scale this time all the way up to max. When you're making your own you can focus on scale, focus on octaves, on turbulence. It, it's just really up to you. You can come back in here to billows and work with that or cloud. It just depends on the look that you're going for and you can take this up and make it a little more busy if you wanted to. The key is to make it small incremental changes. That way when it cycles through each frame, it's not such a huge change. Unless that's the look that you're going for, then by all means do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of that. Now I have these three layers here. They look very similar. You see small transitions in each one of those. But what I'm going to do is come here to the little wrench and I'm going to make sure that I'm on the share icon. Now I'm not going to choose animated GIF or GIF because I don't like the way that it looks. So if I'm going to, I'm just going to show it to you because when I go to the web ready, you can see how you get all of this banding in there for the web ready one. And typically you're going to be using this for the web. 
Rather than doing that, I'm going to just cancel that and I'm going to come back in here and choose animated PNG. And let me bring this down to four or five. When you go to web ready for this one, you're not seeing all of that banding in here. If you want to add text or other objects to the animation itself, I want to show you how to do that because it's not as simple as just popping some text on top of this. You actually have to uh, work in groups. So let me go ahead and cancel that and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to actually come in uh, here and go to the add icon right there and I'm going to add some text. Let me just click on that little A letter icon down at the bottom and I'm going to choose a font. I'll use this one, Strawberry Dreams, and I'm going to widen this over here. I'm just dragging these little anchors to the side so that I can make this text a lot bigger. So I'm just taking it as big as I could take it, 545 pixels. And I'm going to leave it as it is. So I'm going to click Done. And then I'm going to get that little arrow so I can move it around a little bit. So I went ahead and switched out the color. The hex code for this color is 05415F. So what I want to do now that I have it uh, exactly where I want it is I come in here to the little N right here on the text layer. And we're just going to change the blend mode here to overlay. I want to be able to see the background through the text, but still be able to see the text so I can kind of get some of that motion in there. So we're going to go ahead and switch that over and then we're just going to slide over and duplicate that three times. If I were to just leave it like this, the way that the animation works in Procreate, so what it's doing is just turning on layers turning them off and then turning them back on. So if you wanted this and this text to come out together, then you'd actually have to put them into a group. So let me go ahead and do that so I can show you. So I'm going to grab that layer and then I'm just going to swipe on that text layer to the right a little bit and that's going to select that too. Now you'll have options up here at the top to delete or group, but we're going to go ahead and group that together. So we have that group and now we have all those other layers. So if I turn this off, you won't show up in the animation, only uh, whatever's turned on. So this group and these two layers. So if I come back in here and I go to share animated PNG, and you can only see the text when that one group right there is flipped through. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and I'm going to add text to all of the layers because I want the text to show up in each one. So we're actually going to end up with three groups and that will make three different frames. Uh, click on that other layer and then swipe to the right a little bit to select that. And I'm just going to hit group at the top. So now I want to add a little bit of interest to the text here too. So I'm going to turn that one off so I can actually see this. So I have that, uh, that um, text layer selected and I'm just going to double click so I can select the whole thing. And I'm going to come here to this little A icon at the bottom. And all I'm going to do is mess with the kerning a little bit. Like it's just a small change. Okay, so I'm going to go negative 1% on the kerning. And I'll go ahead and click done on that. And then I'm going to go to the next one. Make sure these layers are turned on. Otherwise, they won't show up in that animation. So we want to make sure that, it, that all of these layers are on or each group. I'm going to select that layer and then again swipe right on that top text layer and choose group. So now we have these three groups. I'm going to come back in here and work with this text again. Now I'm going to take this down to negative 2% or as close as I can get. So I'll go negative 2.1%. That's fine. So I'm going to come in here to the wrench. I'm on share and I'm going to choose animated PNG and let's slow that down. So I'm going to leave this at about five and now all you have to do is uh, click on export and then send it wherever you want it to go. If you'd like to learn more about Procreate and other effects that you can create inside this program, click the link on the screen.